right friends so we have been talking about shadows we read a magazine about a shadow and do you remember what makes a shadow if you look here can you see my shadow behind me do you see my shadow i'm in the shade there's no light so i don't have a shadow but let's move to the sun if i move to the sun can you see my shadow now let me see. Can you see my shadow? So I moved to the sun and look, here is my shadow. See, I'm taking big, big steps, but oh no, what happened to my shadow? It's gone. I don't see it anymore. So if I move back into the light, you see here's my shadow, here are my legs. So when you are in the light, the light creates a shadow, remember? And so how should we catch this shadow? How should we catch our shadow? What do you think? How should we catch it? Should we stomp on it? Should we try to catch it with our hands? I think I'm going to draw. So I'm going to go get a dinosaur and a piece of paper and something to draw with. So. As you guys can see, here's my dinosaur. The way I'm going to catch his shadow is I am going to put down a piece of paper and I'm going to trace his shadow. Can you see? So if you see, we put a piece of paper down, his shadow is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it. So let's trace his shadow. Here's his head, his body. His legs and arms are right here. Ta-da! That's my shadow of a dinosaur. And so if you want to go and catch some shadows outside, either your own or a toy that you may have, you can go ahead and do it. Ask for your parents' permission so they can go outside with you. Don't go outside by yourself and go put down a piece of paper and draw a shadow. You can draw your shadow, you can draw your toy's shadow. So when you're all done, take a picture and show me on Learning Genie. I can't wait to see what kind of shadow you drew.